Well, you know what? Uh, you know, we haven't been in that situation this year, down 20. And, you know, but our kids are fighters. Uh, they're competitors. Uh, they, they, don't, they don't quit. And I knew they wouldn't quit in the second half. Uh, we, we said we had to chip away. There's no magical 20 point, 20 point, uh, you know, point to, to tie it. All right, so we knew we had to go on a run. We had to chip, chip away at things. And our goal was to get it in single digits going into the fourth quarter. And we felt we could do that. We had an opportunity to maybe get them late in the fourth quarter. And, and uh, our, our players came up big and took care of the ball and hit some big free throws down the stretch. When do you think, and maybe it was the whole game, when do you think that your kids started to believe that they could uh, finish this thing? You know, uh, we just needed to get in tempo. We, our tempo, they, they had the game right where they wanted it in the first half. Slowed us down. We didn't hit any shots. We were four for 32 in the first half. And uh, we just needed to make some shots so we can get into our full court pressure and, and get this an up and down game, which, which we wanted to do from the beginning. And it just didn't work out the first half. So once, once we cut that lead into about 13, 14, I felt a lot of momentum coming our way. A lot of stats you can look at after this, but I'd say 16 for 17 of the free throw line for your team, and they were uh, 8 for 16. So can you speak to just stepping up, make some big pressure shots? Yeah, you know, we've got very good uh, free throw shooters. We have four guys that shoot 8% or better from the free throw line. And, uh, you know, uh, we shoot a lot of free throws in practice, and, and uh, you know, whenever you can make those many free throws in a tight game, uh, your chances of winning are probably pretty good. So you're on an emotional high right now. Obviously, it'll be a tough one to come down from, but the job obviously is not finished. Monday, you'll play again. So, how do you approach that and uh, just kind of get them to get back to work? Yeah, you know, we're going to enjoy the win tonight. Uh, we told them go and enjoy it tonight, and and uh, you know we're going to give them tomorrow off. Uh, us coaches are going to go ahead and have a, a coaches meeting uh, after school and prepare for uh, the winner of Boone and Perry. I haven't heard who won that game yet. Per Perry won, so we'll go ahead and prepare for Perry tomorrow, and then we'll come back on Saturday in the morning and, and uh, prep for Perry, and we'll practice on Sunday and, and uh, try to go win a sub-state title on Monday night. Know anything about Perry? I don't know a whole lot. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find out tonight, though, a lot. So We'll talk about that later. Coach, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Derek, I appreciate your coverage. Thanks for everything. Uh, you know, uh, halftime we went in the locker room, decided to get our head in the game. Uh, big stakes on the line, you know, going to state. And uh, we uh, started working as a team, uh, got it down on defense, and did our jobs on D. Can you believe? Can you even, did you ever think you would do, you'd pull, pull this off? I had full faith in my team. I knew once we started communicating better on defense and executing way better on offense, we would do it. And... Uh, the press, that was huge. You weren't be able to put that on in the first half because you weren't scoring. Can you talk about that a little? Um, you know, then again with the defense, we just saw we had to play better defense. You know, defensive, defense wins games, and then the scoring comes after that. So once we play defense, we can score. Congratulations. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, we really just had to get a good start to the second half after such a poor first half, but I just came out. Tried to play good defense. Franken's had a great game. Just tried to help put my team in the best position to win. When that first three went down, did you guys start feeling a little bit like, yeah, we can do this? Yeah, I think we all just started to believe that this wasn't over yet, and it's not. It's never over. You can always come back. Well, I gotta ask you, what, what was the ha what was the locker room like at half when you're down by 20 and one of the highest scoring teams in 3A has just 12 points? It was. The Atlantic played a great first half, and we went into halftime, and we were just we were determined because we knew that that was not our best basketball, and shots didn't fall, but we knew that that basket was hot, and we'd go down there and make baskets. Congratulations. We'll see you Monday. Thank you. Uh, honestly, it was a little quiet, but Coach started talking us back up and came out fired up. What what changed? I mean, I mean, it's, it's aside from everything, I guess. Uh, we got we had a lot more heart. We got up, worked them. I mean, they didn't have to work for anything the first half. You uh, were maybe a little cold in the first half too. At what point did you start feeling it a little bit there? Uh, when the game started getting closer, I knew my team needed me and just stepped up. Or do you you always feel it, don't you? Even th even though you miss it, even though you miss, you're still feeling it. Exactly. Yeah. Monday, sub state final. What's it going to be like for you to play for another chance to go to state? 
It's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. Nate, congrats. Great job. Thank you. Thank you. Well, in that first half, you know, I think we shot 30 or no, four for 30. Yeah, that's pretty bad. So we just uh, came out with the mindset one stop at a time. We know we're a pretty good uh, field goal shooting team. So we just uh, went out, got good shots and got stops. At what point did you start to kind of believe a little bit that this could happen? Well, you know, we believed even when we were down 20, you, you got to keep believing. Once you give up, it's over. So, but, you know, once we went on that little run, caught it within 12 or 10, 10 or 12, the crowd was on our side and we just kept rolling. You guys were 16 for 17 from the free throw line. They were 8 for 16. Obviously, big mismatch there. Uh, how important, how much do you guys work on those free throws? Uh, every day of practice, you know. Coach has to shoot 25 after practice, and we, we shoot on our own time, too. How do you kind of come down a little bit now and get back out there on Monday because the job isn't finished yet? Well, Coach is giving us a day off tomorrow so we can celebrate a little bit, enjoy it, but then uh, we're back to work on Saturday. Andrew, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Great job. Thank you.